Hi there, welcome back to Brunama. Today with me are two gentlemen, but two very adventurous men who are about to embark on something known as the Colombo Bike Week 2017. With me in the studio is Mr. Leslie Tillock, the director of Buzzword Events Malaysia, as well as uh, Mr. Roslan Ismail, better known as TJ, who is the director of the Harley Owners Group Kuala Lumpur Chapter. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. How are you today? Great. Fine, 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 fine. Yes. It's good to have you uh, in the studios and talking to both of you on something that I find really interesting and uh, adventurous as well. Yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the Colombo Bike Week. What sure. is it all about? Let's yeah, um, the Colombo Bike Week is an idea that we started from 2016. But we actually, we've been doing rides in Sri Lanka since 2014 mm -hmm. under Buzzword. And we have worked very closely uh, with the Sri Lankan government, uh, especially the Tourism Board, um, the, especially the High Commission, yeah, Sri Lankan High Commission in, in KL, as well as the Malaysian High Commission in Colombo as well. And we have worked with many bike groups over the years. Um, and guys who have gone, <coughs> or riders who have gone to Sri Lanka, uh, is find it a very fascinating destination to go and ride. That's yeah. right. I've seen the, the, the route map that uh, yeah. you, you had shared with us. So basically, uh, the bikers will start uh, in the capital? Yes, in Colombo. Mm -hmm. And then we will move on to the UNESCO site, which is in Anuradhapura, which is an ancient city. Uh, they will s see some of the ruins and you know, enjoy the, the, the sites there. And then we will move on to the east coast. Uh, it's a place called Pasekuda. And sounds Malaysian, Pasekuda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sounds Pasekuda, yeah. But it's a new destination in Sri Lanka for, for tourists mm -hmm. because it's a beachside resort. And uh, we'll spend two nights there because we want the guys to enjoy the you know, beachside activities and the, the sunshine. Mm -hmm. And of course, some of them to do the laundry as well. <laughs> 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 and then we come back to another um, very famous uh, UNESCO site. It's called Candy, a city of Candy, yeah. uh, where the Temple of the Tooth is the most popular um, destination for many tourists. And then we go down right to the south. Uh, we'll go to a place called uh, Emily mm -hmm. and then and Udawalawe, which is actually a national park. This is a huge national park with lots of elephants. Mm -hmm. And then we make the U-turn and we come back up uh, the coast and up to Colombo and back to a place called Nagambo, which is about 40 kilometers off Colombo. Amazing. Here on the screen, we can see visuals. This must have been uh, this one was that... Done, yeah, this was done two years ago mm -hmm. in 2015. Uh, we, we had a group of bikers who came with us. Uh, there were actually 18 of them. Right. Uh, and uh, there were actually two Singaporeans. Uh, one Brit and two Indonesians who joined us in that on that ride. Amazing. Okay, so as a biker, um, how does it? How does it? What what makes it interesting to take this down uh, to the ground, uh, Mr. Roslan? Okay. All right. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me uh, as one of the hosts. Uh, right. Um, for us, right in the highly honest group, mm -hmm. Kuala Lumpur chapter, right. Of course, we will support whatever. As long as it's uh, two wheels, yeah. okay, <laughs> and, and and as a uh, highly owners, okay. Uh, since that uh, before this, there are few uh, riders from uh, highly owners group have been to Sri Lanka supporting the Colombo Bike Week. So of course, I think this should be in continuously, right? Supporting them, right? Uh, because uh, it will be uh, one thing good about it is exposure. Okay, experience because they are passionate in the riding. Okay, and uh, some of them uh, they ha can look at not only just for their holiday, but in terms of the sharing, sharing all their experience while they are riding in Colombo, Sri Lanka itself, uh, and then pass it to our bike riders in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, this will be spread within among the riders, and of course, there will be there will be new riders who wanted to join the Colombo Bike Week. Ah, so this is a shout out to all of you watching who might uh, you think you know this is something I want to try out. I want to <laughs> I want to explore a sense of adventure. Uh, do, I want to do something different yes. and make <coughs> your way down to Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. Why Sri Lanka? Okay, why Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka is a very unique uh, destination in the sense that it's an island of in the Indian Ocean. Uh, in terms of a biking perspective, um, Malaysian bikers have you know they've ridden across mainland. So they're from Malaysia, they can ride into Thailand, Burma. You can ride up to far as India is, or Pakistan, Nepal, wherever. Mm -hmm. But to get to Sri Lanka, you need a ship or a boat or right. something, a vessel to take you across the, uh, the ocean. So that's the deterrent so far. So the other thing is you need what's called a Kani, Kani mm -hmm. de Passage, which mm -hmm. is basically like a insurance policy that you buy. And that's very costly. And most riders don't want to spend that kind of money to, you know, to ride, especially to a near destination like Sri Lanka, even though it's so close. 
So in our case, there is no carne, so that's uh, just ship your bike across to Sri Lanka. You ride for ten days and uh, ten nights or whatever it is, and then ship your bikes back immediately. And then th within a, within a month, you know, you've done a, a, a new destination and you got your bikes back. Uh, and you don't spend that kind of huge amounts of money. Uh, and S Sri Lanka is a really a beautiful country. I've been to Sri Lanka many, many, many times. My 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 heritage is at least Sri Lankan because of my grandparents. And uh, I think Malaysians, I, I love to have tell Malaysians to go to Sri Lanka and see Sri Lanka for them. And, and many of them who have gone with me have really enjoyed their, their stay in Sri Lanka. And especially riding the roads, uh, perfect for, for, for biking. For biking. Yeah. Um, this will be your first time yes. uh, going to Sri Lanka and taking yes. your bike down to the ground, or to the roads, exploring the country. Mm -hmm. What are you anticipating? What is it you're looking of forward to? Of course, when I, uh, a few members of my groups uh -huh. have been there and then they're telling me, TJ, you should go there. If you want to explore something new, something more adventurous, then rather before this year, we went to, we've been riding to Thailand, to Indonesia or to Borneo. So, but you have to go to uh, Sri Lanka because the thing is uh, not only of the, uh, the heritage, uh, the historical place that you've been visiting, but the culture, mm -hmm. okay, the peoples there, mm -hmm. right? Which I think uh, I can't meet it in Malaysia, I think. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's exploring a while on adventure, yep. but also learning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, now I wanted to ask you this: um, a lot of times, you know, unfortunately, with the big bike image comes the bad mm -hmm. boy image as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how would you say biking has, uh, you know, created a sense of passion and brought out the best in some of your members? Okay, right. Oh, you're talking about big bike especially uh, those people who are riding chopper or riding easy rider or so-called uh, Harley Davidson bike. I don't, for in our era of 21st century, I think that uh, miss it already become a miss that which is not true because uh, uh, people, they are educated, okay? Because it's an expensive mm -hmm. bike. And of course, right, then we have our law here in Malaysia which you are you can't you are, cannot be the outlaw right right uh, and then uh, we have to respect our country's law and then uh, with our police diraja Malaysia and then with our keselamatan dan negeri of course right uh, we respect each other we respect each other in terms of brotherhoods and so on but the thing is okay uh, talking about there's no more in terms of gangsterism, mm -hmm. right? Well, because we are not like in US, yeah. is it? right? Well, which brings me to the topic of uh, safety now. Of course, uh, there's a big group that will be heading down to Sri Lanka, yeah. a convoy of about 30 odd people. Yeah. That's the space you have. Yes. Uh, let's talk about the safety issue. Uh, as far as safety is concerned, Sri Lanka is very safe in the sense that this, this tour or this convoy that we have is going to be supported by the Sri Lankan police. So we'll have escorts that, that follow us. We we'll also have local Sri Lankan marshals or bikers who will be following us uh, just to keep the, the, the convoy together. Uh, but as much as it's a convoy, um, it's also a fun ride. So if a biker wants to stop to have a cup of tea or just uh, take a break, have a smoke or whatever it is, yeah. you know, uh, they, we allow that, you know, and the whole convoy will actually wait for him. And all riders will be given uh, the destinations each day. They will be given the GPS coordinates. So really, you'll never get lost. Um, and Sri Lanka is a very safe, very, very safe country. Um, so much safer than Malaysia, I would say. Yeah, and <laughs> some of the highlights, of course, will be the, the sights and sounds, yes. uh, the food, food yeah. yep. the people. Yes, culture, mm -hmm. as uh, TJ mentioned, mm -hmm. culture, food, the people, they're very, very friendly. Mm -hmm. um, I think many of them will be taken aback because they, they will think that they are back in Malaysia 30 years ago mm -hmm. when they arrived in Sri Lanka. It does have that, that feel, right? That feel, yes. um, so what will happen on the first day and uh, what, what's, the, what's the agenda like, the itinerary? Um, like? This year what we've done is uh, when, you, when the riders arrive, when we arrive on a Friday, on a Saturday night we're having a biker's party. Okay, so <laughs> start off with a party, yeah. why not? <laughs> <laughs> so Sri Lankan um, friends of ours uh, have put together a party for us, so there will be a biker's party on Saturday night. And then on Sunday, we start riding. Uh, so we start from Colombo going up to Anandapur on Sunday. Um, as I said, we have a lot of government support. Um, so hopefully, there'll be a, the Minister of Tra Tourism or Minister of Sports will also be there to flag us off uh, once we ride, mm -hmm. uh, or start the ride actually. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when we do the ride and come back, the end of the journey, also a party. Yeah, organized by one of our supporters and one of our partners, the Pledge Holidays, they've agreed to host us in one of the resorts. 
and there'll be uh, another farewell party before we leave and come back to That's Malaysia. more partying than there is biking. <laughs> <but> <laughs> no, what's, is what's the difference, right? Yeah. <laughs> what's the difference? <coughs> okay, we take a quick break now, but yeah. when we come back, we'll be talking a li lot more about uh, this uh, biking adventure that's happening um, in Sri Lanka in just... Uh, well, we'll talk more about that when we come back. Stay tuned. Hi there, thanks for joining us. If you've just joined us, we're talking to two very special gentlemen, Mr. Leslie Tillich, who's the, the Director of Buzzword Events Malaysia, as well as Inche Roslan Ismail, otherwise known as TJ, who's the Director of uh, Harvey Owners uh, Group at the KL Chapter. Yes. And they're about to embark on uh, what is known as the Colombo uh, Bike Week 2017 from the 28th of July till the 6th of August, one entire week of riding throughout the country of Sri Lanka. It sounds amazing. It's full of adventure. Tell me, um, are there any girls or, or, or females that take part? Oh, females are most uh, welcome, you know. Uh, in, as, a, as a matter of fact, at the 2015 ride, uh, we had two female riders. Um, they're actually husband and wife. So mm -hmm. the husband rode a bike, the wife rode her own bike. So there were two couples like that. There were also two couples where the wife rode pillion with the husband. So. We, we, we are welcome uh, female riders as well. That's right. So once again, if you're thinking about exploring, you're thinking, well, will I be suitable? It's open to all yes. uh, as long as you have a bike. Is there a criteria? A, if you have a bike above 600cc, you're welcome to join us. You're welcome to join. Okay, want to talk a little bit about your experience uh, in your previous uh, bike weeks. Have you ha ever been to any particular, uh, you know, very memorable place? So pick one out of the hundreds that you okay. may have. <laughs> All right. For me, okay, uh, I've been riding almost for 23 years, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, Harley bike itself. Harley bike. Okay. I can tell uh, by all these yep. wonderful badges you have yes. on your vest as well. <laughs> and uh, I just came back from the uh, uh, Phuket Bike Week mm -hmm. this year and also the uh, Sungai Golok Bike Week for the local, uh, even though it's in Thailand. Okay. But before this, I've been riding, uh, I went to a few bike weeks, in international bike weeks. Mm -hmm. But the most experienced when I went to a South African Bike Week, Amazing. that is in South Africa. Right, in, in, in held in Durban, uh, and the rest, okay, as part of for the committee, committee in a highly honest group, mm -hmm. I must have to organize and support all the bike weeks, even is a local or international, mm -hmm. okay. But uh, recently, okay, I just came back from uh, Kuching, okay, because uh, we are supporting the. Uh, Twin City but we will be held in October. There is uh, Kota Kinabalu International Bike Week and also Kuching International Bike Week. Right. And in the middle, all right, I will organize a rally. Okay, it will be the name of uh, Borneo International Hawk Rally. Okay, uh, that it will be. Uh, I already received a few uh, uh, international participants mm -hmm. before, even though we are not, not launched yet. yet. <laughs> or started yet, but uh, we already uh, received a few uh, come up uh, from uh, international, but from uh, Spain, even from Indonesia, from Thailand, and then a few from uh, Japan right. who are interested coming for the rally. In mm. in Malaysia, how mm. big are the, uh, is the bikers uh, group or the, or, the, or the following or the interest right. group? For like my group, highly honest group, is the biggest uh, among uh, all the. Uh, MCMGs in Malaysia. Even though we are not MCs, MCs means uh, motorcycle club, mm -hmm. MGs motorcycle gang or motorcycle group. Okay, mm -hmm. but we are not MCs, MGs. We are the part of a uh, community sanctioned by a Harley Davidson Motor Company. Okay. Okay. So of course, uh, in Malaysia there are so many MCs, MGs, and they also uh, can become our uh, part of a Harley Owners uh, members, right? And uh, Harley Owners group is uh, worldwide. It's everywhere in the world. We have dealership, okay, and of course for us uh, there are three dealership in Malaysia. That is Kuala Lumpur, PJ mm -hmm. itself, mm -hmm. Penang, and also Johor Bahru, and uh, KL is the mother chapter among of, to all the Harley owners in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what's going to be interesting with this bike week that's coming up is it's just not Harley's, mm -hmm. but you'll be having other bikes uh, yes. and and other groups that will be joining yeah. you as well. We'll be invite all kinds of bikers to come. So whether you own a BMW, whether you own a Triumph. Whether you own a Kawasaki or Honda, you're most welcome to join us. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, the first ride was uh, nine BMWs that went to Sri Lanka. 
coincidentally but you know beyond, beyond after that was all a mixed group of uh, riders oh actually. fantastic do now tell us Leslie a little bit about the package um, basically yeah. how much is it um, for a package that consists of a uh, 10 days sorry 10 uh, yeah 10 days and nine nights mm -hmm. uh, we're charging for the single room let's say you're riding single uh, it's 11,000 ringgit mm -hmm. uh, for a twin we're sharing a room with someone else it's 9,800 ringgit at the moment mm -hmm. Um, that includes uh, all hotels, all meals, uh, the airfare, um, the shipping of the bikes from from Port Klang to Colombo and back, uh, all documentation that's involved. So point uh, to point. Yes, point to point. Mm -hmm. And um, the police escorts, there will be a bus in case you know, if you're not well. We'll have a spare rider to, to ride your bike for you. Um, there will be uh, support vehicles in case your know, bike's breaks down for any reason mm -hmm. and there'll be a, a lorry that's following to pick up your bike and you know, bring it back to Colombo. Mm -hmm. Well of course the website is on the screen right now colombobikeweek.com we can go and get all the information uh, you would like to know uh, also on Facebook with the same uh, title find them on Colombo Bike Week. 28th July to 6th August preparations right. must be on the way, on the way now <laughs> not much time yep, left yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure you're very excited what is the what is the group or the the gang saying about it now. I think everyone's talking about it because uh, I've spoken to TJ quite a while back, and you know, he's also promoting it among his friends. Mm -hmm. I've been promoting the people I know. Uh, the people in Sri Lanka are very excited for us to come over. You know, uh, there's some sponsorships that we managed to secure. Uh, com the Honda bike company in Sri Lanka is also sponsoring uh, some of the goodies for us in Sri Lanka. Uh, beverage companies are providing us, you know, free mineral water and other beverages. Mm -hmm. Um, so everyone's really excited and gearing yeah, up for this. They're waiting for us to come and, and see Sri Lanka, the real Sri Lanka. The real Sri Lanka. Yeah. Um, so now, is there any perhaps a uh, plan for the future to bring down Sri Lankans to Malaysia? There is actually. Versa, yeah. uh, I work with a group called um, Moto Adventure Sports Mass in Sri Lanka with a man called Mr. Neil Hashim. And he's quite influential within the biking community. And they are started to, to talk about, hey, how about riding in ASEAN? So if that happens in the next near future, that's definitely be be on because then we can work with the Harley groups or the BMW groups, mm -hmm. depending on the kind of bikes they want to ride. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, how how would both of you, in your own ways, like to help to to, to promote this passion uh, in the country? Of course. Uh, mainly highlighting the issue of safety as well I think that is one of the biggest uh, things to talk about when you talk about big bike riding yeah, all right for me personally okay even though I've been riding uh, for to, to many places mm -hmm. okay but every time when I start my bike mm -hmm. okay I just told myself okay it will be a different process different feelings okay because you have to face the environment, yeah. the situation, the peoples, the foods, the culture, okay. So it's everything is a new process for me. Each ride is a every different ride. ride. Every everything, yeah. mm -hmm. even though it, you've been s the same places, yeah. but it be different. Okay, yeah. that's why if you are really passionate into it, okay, you share this experience, okay, among the new riders, mm -hmm. the newbie, okay, and then uh, with the pictures. Nowadays, we get the new technology with the media social. You can share it right in the Instagram or Facebook, and then um, people are looking to it. And then uh, some of them they say, "Hey, why don't you invite us? The, is there any right for uh, next year or whatever?" Yeah. So that's the thing. Okay. There. Where else? I think if the government or even the, uh, anybody, uh, any organization, right? Please, okay, learn from other places how they organize their event and bring it back to Malaysia or can follow call us those who already been been to that uh, bike we or uh, bike gathering okay so maybe we can share we can talk about it so how when we go abroad mm -hmm. we take the technology or yeah. take the experience and share the it knowledge. here if there are some any any organization who are willing to listen right we, we are willing to share it also. Uh, that's amazing. I think that's yeah. one of the reasons we wanted to highlight this on the show as well. It mm. is it, it is comes from both of yeah. you who are very passionate mm -hmm. about this. Uh, you have been a biker yourself. Previously. Uh, yeah. Previously, <laughs> now an organizer, so yeah. wearing a different hat. Um, but nonetheless, something that promotes good, right? Yeah. It is, uh, you know, passion, hobby, and interest that one can, can continue. And discipline. That's yes. right. I think that's something True. a lot of people don't see yeah. in mm -hmm. this uh, sporting mm -hmm. event. Yeah. In terms of time, in terms of uh, okay, how 
your brotherhood, your with your colleagues. That's right. Okay. That that comes out in, during the ride. You can see yes. the brotherhood coming out when, mm -hmm. when they're riding together. Being being together and yeah. being yep. being exploring a new place all together yeah. makes everyone closer um, as well. What would you like to add as a parting note, Leslie? Okay, just as a parting note, I'd like to tell you that in Sri Lanka, I think I didn't mention this earlier. By by law, they didn't they don't allow big bikes. Okay. So the biggest bike is maybe a four hundred cc bike. So when Malaysians or ASEAN riders go to Sri Lanka and ride their big bikes, they become mini celebrities. All right. Yeah. For the ten days. <laughs> no, uh, I'm sure all the, everyone will be stopped slowing down on the on the roads no, and winding the windows uh, down, honking. Honking, especially you go and we do a pit stops for petrol or a meal stop. You know, you can see thousands of uh, hundreds of people will be coming and gathering around your bike and be asking questions about your bike, you know, mm -hmm. and they're very fascinated and because they haven't seen these kind of bikes before and and you become a mini celebrity, celebrity instantly. Instantly, you, know? and you yeah. can put up pictures on social media and, yes. and all of yeah. that. Well, it is really interesting and I hope that this uh, lives on. I hope they come back to the studio tell us how it went, you yes, know, yes. Um, happening on the 28th July till the 6th of August. You can, of course, get more information at colombobikeweek.com uh, or otherwise on Facebook. Uh, information about the package yes. the details about uh, the event and of course the price is also up there as a biker what we like to say to um, all Malaysians watching and perhaps uh, get the the non bikers to become bikers okay right just put on your jacket yeah <laughs> wear your blue denim or <laughs> wearing a, a proper attire open your website go to any bike week especially Colombo bike week Right? Just spend your bit of your money. <laughs> right on. Right on. Yep. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Well, that's all the time we have. Thank you Thank so you. much for both being on the show and continue with the passion. It just it just makes me feel I mean, I wish I could, you know, hop you're, along. You're uh, I might well, come with a bicycle come. behind yeah. or something like that. But uh, thank you so much Thank and you. uh good luck and all the best. Thank all right. you. Well that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep it locked on to the channel for more news updates and of course for more information on the bike week, check out ColomboBikeWeek.com. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.